Well, guys, we have made the playoff final. We are there at Wembley. But how do we get there? We're going to discuss that and much, much more on the Tyler Less podcast. But this is a very special extra. For those of you watching on YouTube, consider this your, your pub chat extra for the week as we are going to talk about our Carabao moment of the season. And the reason we're doing that is because, as hopefully people can see behind us, it is the lovely Wideski Stadium pitch. We are here at the Madstad talking about our glorious path to Wembley. And what better way to do it than looking back so far and picking out our Carabao moment of the season. Now this doesn't necessarily have to be the very best moment of the season because I think we'd probably just all say beating Fulham and getting to Wembley. Or, you know, if we were recording this next week, the promotion parade. You know, something like that. Because <laughs> that's going to happen, right? We'll get to that later. We're going to win, aren't we? Dave? Hope so. Yeah, there you go. Good, good positive optimism. But it's only fitting that before we get to that final hurdle, we talk about what's come so far. So, my name is Dan Wimbush, joined by Simi Pickup, by Ben Greenwood, making his Tyler's End debut. He's making his debut before the podcast has even started. That's how impressive this guy is. You'll know him from the Yapstown Batman videos and some of the cool animations, and this very podcast logo as well. Dave Handbags Harris, Johnny Williams... And Becca White, we are all here, so let's get to it. Carabao moment of the season. Sim, I'm going to start with you. I'll have to go recent and say the Yankum winner against Fulham on last Tuesday night. I thought it was a um, terrific moment in the stadium. It was the one that really well, clinched, it, clinched it and got us to Wembley. Yeah. Um, the roar in the East Stand where I was sat was absolutely terrific. It really felt like a proper, special, historic moment at the Midaiski, and that's my Carabao moment of the season. Well, you've you kind of usurped us all right there. How are we going to, are we going to top that, Ben? I'm going to let you try. Well, I might be able to top it. I, mine's got to be Mendes' performance at Villa because uh, it was so unexpected, definitely. Me and my dad sat there. And you see everybody coming in and going, oh, have you seen the team? Mendes? And, you know, he had a slight doubt and then five minutes in, he whacks one in, runs all over the pitch for the rest of the game, flying in tackles and everything, gets a second and brilliant, fantastic performance. Dave, what about you? Um, I'm going to go right back to the opening day of the season. Um, we uh, won the up at half time against Preston, um, playing ext extremely well. Um, but then second half, um, who pops up into Y25 and Y26 of the East Stands? Was it me? No, you were already there. No. It was uh, it was Tiger. Um, <laughs> I just uh, it just really lifted the atmosphere of that game, um, and uh, was a good positive start to the season. I think. Yeah, he'd, he'd been in the fans meeting at the pre-season, hadn't he? And some fans had sort of said to him, well, you know, come sit with us. We'll yeah. see what it's like. And sure enough, true to his word, the only <laughs> pops up in the stands. Johnny, your Carabao moment of the season. I think it's got to be the moment where we got one over Leeds. I know that uh, we had like a little it. bit of aggro since the away game there, where there was a bit of uh, confrontation between uh, Monk and Stam. And then for us to bring them back to the Medeski, Kermagant with one of the finest strikes I think you'll ever see uh, to hit the winner in that game. And then uh, ultimately to contribute to Leeds' uh, downfall in not making the playoffs. <laughs> I mean, oh, you know, shall we, shall we raise a carabao to the end of the Leeds promotions <laughs> dream? Football Sorry, fans guys. all over the country were uh, absolutely loving life, the fact that Leeds couldn't make it into the playoffs. Yeah, you know, it's community service, really. Isn't it? <laughs> we did what we could. Becca, what about you? Um, I'm going recent, like Sim, and going for the, um, the, the away leg at Fulham, actually, and especially, um, I think it was about five minutes before full time. and we had a corner that down by our end and we just saw Chris Gunter just, I'd not seen passion on a player's face like that for a, a good couple of seasons and just to see him be so riled up and I, I think I'll speak for all the other fans that were there and probably everyone that was watching it as well, just how intense that was and to see that they were feeling exactly the same as us, I think that was my... That was my moment. Yeah, the usually serene and, and quite passive Chris Gunter sort of letting loose um, was just one of those moments. It was, it was kind of West Ham 2012-esque. It was mm. nice. It was great. Uh, the moment I'm going for is the 3-2 win at Bristol City. To come from 2-0 down where we shot ourselves in the foot with some just awful defending and just sat there thinking, this year is starting really badly. Is this the point where the entire season collapses? And to make that comeback, Liam Kelly, one of our own, inspiring it as well. Pulling the strings and just get it back, not just to snatch a point, but then go and win the game as well. It was just fantastic. Those are the sort of comebacks you live for. Mm. That you go to football and you sit through the horrible away games where you go and there's no comeback and you've just actually got tonked. <laughs> 
the forests, the uh, the Norwich, which... Yeah, uh, we were still in the game at half-time at Norwich, weren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it was there for the taking. I mean, I could, have the, could have come out and won the second half. <laughs> you know, Norwich have nothing to celebrate, so, you know, we want to give them something at the end of the year. But no, so to come back in that fashion, I thought was fantastic. So those are the nominees. Anyone got a favourite out of all those? I mean, I'm leaning towards Jan's penalty, just because of, of what it meant. But anyone else? I mean, I'm... I'm one for crowd reactions and yeah. the, the Bristol City game. If you if you watch the uh, the, the highlights on YouTube, uh, the multi camera highlights um, with the equaliser, with the camera behind the goal. Yeah, all right, you got the goal, but behind, literally behind that camera are the Reading fans and the roar that you yeah. get when that equaliser <laughs> goes in, the instantaneous roar when everybody you know the ball's been smashed in and everybody knows. And, and, and you know, sometimes it's kind of an elongated yeah. um, sort of you know why of the year as it were. This was just like everybody all together. Going absolutely mental. Yeah. All at literally exactly the same moment. And that roar, it just, it, it, I, I keep going back to that video just to listen to that. Not watch the goal. Excellent. Anyone else? Any other nominees? I was at Fulham away as well, the uh, playoff semi final, that passionate moment from Chris Gunter right in front of the fans. I was maybe about three rows away from it and he just absolutely screamed his head off into the away fans. It was pure passion. It's absolute best. Moment. Absolutely. Okay, so we're gonna gonna have to vote. You've heard everybody's submissions. Becca, what are you going for? Uh, I've got to go for Kermigan's penalty. Okay, Johnny. I'm more for me for Kermigan. Okay, Dave. I'll go Bristol City. You're gonna go to Bristol City. Ben? Yeah, I'll go Bristol City. Ooh, Sim. Oh, it's all on you, mate. Chris Gunter at Fulham. Ooh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Host's yeah. choice. Uh, I'm gonna go for the one I voted for, uh, which is Bristol City away. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. So uh, yeah, well done, uh, and thank you to uh, Liam. Uh, that involves Jan as well. That was the, almost the start of the Jan Renaissance. Mm. So, um, and who knows? We hadn't come, come back in that game. How the season could have panned out. So, that is our Carabao moment of the season. And to mark the awarding of this, I mean, we don't have an actual award. I mean, <laughs> this wouldn't be, you know, the unprofessional joke of a, of a podcast that we've become <laughs> over the years if we had something to present. But what we do have is uh, is Carabao's brand new green apple sugar free energy drink, and we are going to taste it here for the first time. So. Gonna give you reactions. Are you ready? Uh, I feel ready. like we should yeah. be celebrating out of the balcony. Well, it's the time to send podcasts. Moment of the season. <laughs> Absolutely. Why are we all waiting the cracking? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Right. Okay. Right. Cheers. 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 Plan. That is nice. I like that. That reminds me of many nights out. That's quite <laughs> drinking another green product that I won't name, but it rhymes with dowers. Mm. That's what I'm going to say. Oh. So uh, for, for, the, for the commercial sensitivity out there, that is nice. I like that. Thank you uh, for those of you who are watching us on YouTube for the Carabao moment of the season. Go pick this up. I'm sure it'll be available on the concourses next season. In the meantime, we're going to launch ourselves into what is the Tarlestem podcast.